Hi guys, this is Echo Soundworks with a mini tutorial course for MassiveSynth.com where we're going to be checking out some tips and tricks, do's and don'ts of how to create super saw sounds inside of Massive. So if you've ever wanted to up your super saw game inside the synth, this is your chance. Well, let's first talk about what exactly is a super saw because you need to understand that so you can start creating these things. Well, a super saw came to prominence with the uh, Roland JP6000 and Roland JP8000 back in the day. They were synths that were obviously created by Roland, and the idea behind the super saw waveform was they wanted to come up with a way where you could have a sound that sounded like it was a bunch of stacks of saw waves. But the only problem was the technology was quite limited back then, so they couldn't actually feasibly have you stack five, six, seven, or eight oscillators of a saw wave, detune it, and actually still have the synth play and not bog down the rest of, of the system. So what they came up with was a way that basically it's it, it, it basically simulates a stack of seven oscillators or seven stacks of saw waves. And they're both they're all running freely and being detuned slightly against each other. And it created this huge saw sound that we all know as the super saw. So a lot of soft synths will have their own dedicated way of making a super saw type sound. Now these aren't going to be a lot of times true to the purest form of a super saw like the Roland JP synths were, but they can get really close in sound and feel, and that's the important thing. Well, Massive doesn't have the most, I guess, direct way of creating super saw type sounds or hyper saws, whatever you'd like to call them. You have to know kind of in each section of the synth, there's going to be some tips and tricks that you can do. So in the oscillator section of the synth, there's some things that you can do to help make it more of a super saw sound. The filters are obviously super important to a super saw. But then also this voicing tab and your envelopes become very important. And so basically those three sections are where you're going to create the feel or the sound that it is a super saw. So I, ha I have a sound that I've made for this tutorial course. It's just a really thick, huge super saw. I'm going to play it right now for you. So it's kind of a very modern, edgy, dirty super saw. I didn't want to create like an old school 80s because I wanted it to be more applicable for today's music. But there is one thing I, I want to point out about super saws that I find interesting. They work for different moods of music. And by that, I mean you can use this super saw in a really happy upbeat song and you can use it in a really sad kind of aggressive song it doesn't really matter they they they, they just work and i find that interesting because not all synth sounds or wavetables or waveforms are conducive to certain moods of music so i'm going to play a really happy progression now because you just heard this tense one and the chords are uh g sharp minor it's a d flat inverted i think it's like a third over a fifth and then we got like a E major 7, which is pretty tense, moving from that other chord. And then a inverted C minor, so it plays that really well. Now let's play something happy. And let's play something stupid cheesy happy. So it works for a wide range of music. That's why it was used in the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and even through to today. So in the next part of this course, we'll be checking out how to recreate this sound. I'll see you there.